Picture this, you type a simple text description of a 3D model and in a couple of minutes you get the result. Now you can use it for 3D renders, video game development, 3D printing, video or any creative project for that matter. All for free. Do you think it's already possible with AI? <laughs> Let's find out. What's up guys, Nunu here. Today I'm diving into Meshi AI, a tool designed to change the game for 3D artists. By the end of the video, you will see how it performs, whether its features live up to the hype, and why tools like this are becoming essential in modern creative workflows. First things first, head over to the Meshi AI website and create a free account. It should take about a minute. Then just click on the community on the top to take you to the discovery page, where you will find models that were shared by the community. Here you can filter by categories, trending, or even the most downloadable assets. You can already see the level of quality Meshi AI can produce. So, let's start creating a new model. Head over to Workspace. We have two main ways of creating models, using text to 3D and an image to 3D. Let's start with text to 3D, in which you will describe what you want to generate. This could be something basic like a vase or something more specific like a circular fountain with stone textures. You can also create new characters for your projects. For example, a male construction worker or female with a handbag wearing a shirt and jeans. The AI generates realistic models for you. So, let's start by typing here. Modern small chess long sofa. You can see it created four generations in clay mode. You can select one of them to finalize the model and just click generate at the bottom. I think it turned out great actually. Now you can use your mouse buttons to further inspect the model. On the top, you can select to display the wireframe and visualize how it is the geometry. Next, we can either create the textures or remesh. I will select texture first. Just click texture and here we can be specific about which colors we want. So, modern small chess long sofa, beige fabric. Now click texture. It takes about two minutes to fully generate the texture model. Now, on the bottom, you will find AI Texture Editing, which is a paid feature, but this can erase small texture errors. You just select an area that needs fixing and then add again the prompt or something new you would like to see. Let it generate three new options and then select the best one. There's also Smart Healing, again, a paid feature, but quite useful. This works similarly to the healing brush in Photoshop it will automatically fix the areas you select. Next, we can click on the Remesh to optimize your model. This can give you a less detailed version of the model for performance purposes. The adaptive option lets the AI decide on the number of polygons, but in this case, I want fixed and select 30K. As for the topology, the quad will give you a cleaner geometry that it's easier to edit, but with less detail. This is the one we want for this, so just select it. And click Confirm to process a new model. After a minute, we are left with a new model, more optimized, with less geometry. Next, we have Stylize. This lets you select the art style for your model, if you want a sculpture or PBR. I'll select PBR to have all the textures separate. Now you can see in the top right corner all the textures available for this model. And to download the model, you just click on the download button at the bottom of the page and select which file format suits you better. For this, I'll select FBX. Let me show you how it looks inside Lumion, the rendering software I'm using. I just select the file to import and then apply the textures and adjust the material settings. You can see how it looks in the software while I'm building my project. And here's the final render image. Pretty cool, right? 
By the way, let me know if you want more videos exploring this AI tool and comment below which objects you want me to generate. I'll make public the ones with the most likes. Now, let me show you another feature I've been really loving. The image to 3D feature. I will show you my whole process for generating very specific high quality models with this. First, you can go online and find a piece of furniture you like. I'll select this armchair for Muru and save the image. Now, on the new model option, select the image to 3D and drag and drop the image here. Just keep in mind that this will have some limitations since it's converting 2D images to 3D, it will lack depth information. So, with that in mind, just click Generate and wait for the four options to be created. I like this one. Just click Confirm and now let's have a better look. You can see the level of detail it created. For sure, this is not something you can create in just a couple of minutes modeling this yourself. Now we need textures. Click on Texture and you see it already has the image we have uploaded as a reference. Just click the Texture button to generate the textures. Give it a minute and here's the final 3D model. If you don't like something on the texture, you can use the button on the bottom to give it another try for free. And here's how it looks again inside Lumion. This also works great to generate plants you like that you find online. With the same process, just upload the image and go through all the steps to generate a new plant based on the image provided. Another thing I find useful is to generate multiple house models to use as background for projects. You can quickly generate a bunch of different styles and since they are on the background, no one will notice the imperfections that it has. Lastly, I want to show you how you can animate your characters right within Meshia AI website. Just select any character you generated, and for this it will work better if you have them in typos. This means when a character has its arms and legs open in a V-shape. Then let's click this Rig button. We are going to animate a human, so click Next. Now set each point like you see on the reference image. When it's done, click Confirm. You now have an animated character. On the right side you can add more animations and see how they look. All of these were done in less than 5 minutes. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, you can try Meshi AI for free. You will have 200 credits a month to generate new models. You can earn up to 40 free credits daily by sharing your creations on Discord. Some generations are not perfect yet, but I think it really can transform your workflow. I will for sure stay tuned and see future developments. Let me know if you'd like me to continue exploring this new AI tool, and if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one.